Well, what is going on? Welcome back to Clayton Schick Outdoors. Of course, I'm Clayton Schick. This is the wonderful outdoors. We are getting another early start at Viking Lodge in Northern Manitoba, where we are heading out on a mission today for a big trout, stock trout, not lake trout this time, a rainbow trout, and then try to go chase some big pike as well. It's a little bit of a two-part mission here. Probably won't fish late today just because there's some snow coming tomorrow. I need to get on the road. It's been a crazy long road trip. And uh, yeah, so let's hit the trail. I'm pumped. Oh, oh, jaw jacker, baby, jaw jacker, ice, oh. gone, gone. Okay, well, we're getting some action anyway. Got him, got him, nice. <laughs> Max jaw jacker went off, and he lost it, or he oh. came off, he stayed with it. Oh, oh, that's okay, hey. It's all good. Ah, oh. it's all good. It's all good. Got one. On? Oh boy. Oh boy. Jeez. Trying to tie my. That looks good. Too. Trying to tie my other one and. <laughs> Just turn around and boom. That white. I tube, heard something. Hey? I heard something ticking. I looked oh, back no and he's way. on the flasher. Wow. I was trying to, trying to to retie my other one. <laughs> this is awesome. I got it. I got it. So I haven't introduced him yet, but this is Matt, one of the owners. Oh, not some beautiful oh, fish. Beauty. One of the owners of Viking Lake Lodge or Viking Lodge. That is a beauty. big one, oh, dude. Oh, that's a big. That's a big one. Oh yeah. Wow. She's a beauty. Easy. Oh, look at the colors on that. That's thing. unbelievable. That's a big one, hey. Oh, beauty. Dude. <laughs> Unreal. Do you want to hold your fish? Sure. <laughs> Unreal. Now show them off. I'm gonna get the measuring board real quick. That's a big one. Wow. White tube jig. Very cool. Quick. That's a big one. Quick. Awesome. 24. Gorgeous. Yeah, 24. That thing is so colored up. Oh, Wicked. <laughs> nice work, dude. Good? Yeah, let her yeah, go. Let her go. We're good. Nice and quick. Gone. Nice move. Awesome. awesome. <laughs> Wicked. Wicked. That's what we wanted. Oh, just, <laughs> just died. Wicked. Sweet. That's the what he's tube. got going on there. A little white tube. <laughs> it wasn't even jigging it, hey? Just no, I set it down. Around and set it down. I was retying my deadline hook and turned around and I saw it on the flasher and grabbed the rod quickly and the line was sideways in the hole already. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> at the hook. So it's like we're, like I said in the intro, we're coming out here for one or two quick stock trout and we're going to go for the pike fishing, but we'll probably spend another half hour, 45 minutes, see if we can get another fish, but that's, that's literally the fish we came for. That is oh, so absolutely. good. That's absolutely. awesome. Absolutely. So like I said, when Matt was fighting that fish, Matt is one of the owners of Viking Lodge, him and his brother, Paul. Paul's older than you, right? Yeah. Older, his older brother, Paul told me he taught Matt everything he knows. So today, if Matt <laughs> caught a big rainbow, it's all because of Paul. That's just what I heard. <laughs> Don't believe everything you hear. <laughs> <laughs> 
If you've been following Jay as well as me, you've seen Jay fish up, fish up at Viking Lodge a lot in the past, and you would have seen Matt and Paul in a lot of his videos. So it's very been very kind of them to take us around, show us some stuff. Jay was here the other day as well, and they did pretty good. So I'm guessing his video will be out either a few days before this one or a few days after type of thing. But you'll have to watch for Jay's video too because they, they cracked a couple really, really nice trout. They spent a better part of the morning here and uh, caught some nice ones. I won't spoil anything just in case the video isn't out yet. Got him. Jeez. Matt's on fire over there. Just setting up his second line again. Boom. Oh, come on. Turn around. You did this. A little this bit smaller same, one than the first same one? Thing, same thing. Oh, yeah, the other one. Slushier. Yeah, it's slushy. It's slushy. It's slushy. Perfect. Awesome. Gorgeous fish. Beauty. Well, fish too? Yeah. Oh yeah, come on. Yes. Oh yeah, 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 oh, yeah. Oh come on, stay button, buddy. Oh, 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 oh. It's frozen. Nothing like being frozen. I think he's still there, yeah. Nice. Matt was nice enough to give me a tube jig. These things are just wicked, like. Man, it's been a while since I've caught a rainbow. I got the scoop. Oh, there we go. Jigs out and everything. <laughs> there he's free. Oh. Getting gone. Just like that. <laughs> just like that. I was going to just kind of rinse off some of the slush from him and he, uh, he found shot the hole. down so quick. But that's okay. He wasn't like a giant one. He was like a 19 incher, maybe 20 type of thing. And like I said, Matt gave me one of those tube jigs. And now I'm on the board. We're almost finished now. Maybe uh, one more quick one and we'll take after uh, and go after some pike. Oh geez, another one on me already. Oh boy, nice. I just got back down there. Are you kidding me? This is unreal. I just got back down there. <laughs> Nothing to it. Oh, wow. This one feels about the same size as the last one. We'll see if I keep this one up for a to show it off at least, to prove that I actually caught one. Nice, you know, a little bit bigger than the other one. Oh yeah, nice. A little bit bigger, okay. Obviously we're trying to take care of these fish more than anything, right? Because trophy fish for the future, I'll show them off quick. What a nice probably 21-ish rainbow, maybe 22 type of thing. Beautiful, awesome. Okay, deadly. Okay, maybe one more quick one yet. <laughs> off the tap and like that. Jeez. <laughs> you just dropped her down. I just, yeah, right back down. Oh, 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 come on. Oh, yeah, I'm going to get smoked. Oh, <laughs> give me another chance, buddy. Give me one more and I'll be happy. and I'll be good. Yeah, come back. Come back right here. Yeah, got him. Got him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's nice having Matt here and grab the transducer. I love it. I love it. My main camera's froze, so this is just gonna be straight head camera action, but that's all good. That's all good. Feels decent. Feels decent, yeah. Ah, that's a nice one. Not a giant, not a giant. But I think Another that'll- Another 20 inch, I'll yeah, we'll make 20 all the way. Right out. Yeah. 20 all the way. That camera's frozen, so I can't even show it off. <laughs> yeah, that's 20. Oh yeah. yeah. That's 20 inches. Awesome. White tube, to me, though. I don't really. It's a, I don't have to measure them. If they're a great big one, I'll measure them. But this, it's like, I just want to hook them, catch them, let them go. I love it. White tube does it again. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> this welcome. is awesome. <laughs> this is awesome. Well, that was a huge success. Five quick rainbows. I'd say four of the five were a master angler. B biggest being 24. The last one I caught was probably 20-ish. I got one that was like 22. The one that was just a little bit smaller. Uh, maybe three three master anglers then. Two might have been like around that 18, 19 inch range. So three master anglers, an hour and a half. Awesome little uh, quick fish. But now it's on to some northern pike. A little bit of a little bit of a game plan switch here. Actually, no, it was the game plan. We're not calling audible or anything. We're just sticking to the 
plan here was always the thing is once the sun started to come up, we were gonna switch from rainbows to pike. So let's go put some big mamas on the ice. We're set up at the pike spot right now, or so sorry, we're getting set up. Matt's running two full thermal hand over hand tip ups, and I'm going to run two finicky floors with some frostbite rods. I'm gonna run the Mr. Bigs today with uh, Cisco's. I'm running like a six inch Cisco. What are you using for bait, man? Six inch Cisco. Six inch Cisco. Yeah, yeah. there we go. Smart, smart minds think alike. It's such a good bait overall. And uh, early season in, in for pikes, like pike fishing, like in that January, February, you can still go small. You don't have to go really, really big. Those pike, you'd be surprised. They'll eat those little jig and minnows, little small baits all the time. You don't always have to have great big baits. What's that? There's a flag up. Over that far one? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I haven't, I haven't got an underwater camera over there yet. Uh -huh. And boom. running that took all of like two minutes uh, think smaller I think walleye <laughs> yeah you could be a walleye too <laughs> you never know exactly sometimes all the bigger ones too they'll just turn and come right back at you too stuck on the ice just gonna let it go a bit there we go yeah I think it's just a smaller well, guy put, yeah. yeah a little bit <laughs> How did you even get that bait in your mouth, buddy? <laughs> little, little snot rocket. See, if Jay was still here, that'd be a great one for him. <laughs> Thought he dropped it for a second. Just kind of come, come with came, you. Came back, came back at with me, you. Yeah. He was, they do that. He hey, was once taking you get a hook, hook in and they do a 180 and come right back at you. It feels like he's got good weight to him, but. Okay. Well, maybe not. I don't know. It's hard to tell it's when he's coming so, towards me. It's always so hard to tell. Yeah. He took quite a bit of line, so. Yeah, he took lots, eh? Yeah. Oh. Get that ready just in case. It's not cold out today, but it's a little bit cool. So it's like, we don't want to keep these fish out of the water too long. We've got all of our tools with us right here. Bump board, everything ready to go. So we can get a quick shot with it and get it back in. How is it? It's got a little bit of weight here. Yeah, it? yeah. Yeah, just a decent. This is a decent fish. Yeah. Not a big one, not a small one. Yeah, nice. Pretty Show them off quick and pretty the beat camera. Up. Pretty all. beat up. Yeah. On this side. Nice. Oh, there we go. go. Good. Okay. Nice. Quick dump, yeah. shore off, back in. Like a nice 33 inch or about that. Yeah. Yeah, a couple of war wounds on that oh, one. Oh, yeah. Beat up. Nice. Gone. Okay. Two quick pike. There's only one flag down. What's the chance of that going off before we get ready? Oh, flag up. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, we officially have all four flags up. Got her? Got her, yeah. Nice. <laughs> okay, little guy. Little guys. But that's well, all four flags are up. Waiting for the monsters to yeah. roll in. Gone. We, uh, we literally, like, I have, I have one bait. I just got it down in time. Other than that, we only got one bait down again. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> I can't even get mine set up and they take it. <laughs> it took quite a bit. Yeah, I let him take it a bit because he took it right out of my hand basically. Yeah. I didn't even have the tip up in place and he just, I felt tension on it. How's it feel? Better. Nice. Okay. Well, we're getting there. Getting, getting a, little a little better. better. Nice. Flags are flying. Fast pace, that's for sure. The flags have been flying like crazy. It's been really good, but I thought I'd ever talk quickly about the rod I was using for the stock trout before another flag goes off. So see if we can do this before a flag does pop. So it's using a 39 inch 
drench from frostbite it's a fiberglass rod i feel like with stock trout a fiberglass rod that goes farther into the blank is probably a good idea i was having some issues this morning like a little bit of freeze up stuff because it was colder there's a little bit of moisture in the air too but it was just had a little bit of a nip to it right so when stuff starts to freeze up on you there and you need a few seconds to loosen it up a little bit of forgiveness extra forgiveness in that rod blank is so nice 39 inch drench from frostbite this is the vanta black series and i do like the vanta black series for fishing outside too because of all of the ice recoil guides that you can you can flick off all the ice some people think that there's only the first couple uh, guides are um, recoil guides but these ones right here you can bend over all the way flick off all the ice these are all ice recoil guides awesome awesome rod for sure huge fan of the drench i use it for walleye use it for stock trout it's a really well rounded versatile rod oh flag oh just went up eh? yep just watched it pop it's gonna be a giant i can feel it here comes a 45 Yep. Yeah, he's still there. Yeah, good. Nice. Good. Nice. Took out quite a bit of line. I'm just going to hit him. Uh, Looks a little better. It's, yeah, definitely a little bit better. Not a. I don't think it's a snot rocket. I did hit it when it was going away from me. Which, yeah, but that's what happened with mine over there, yeah. I think. Well, it's got a little bit of weight to him. I don't think it's tiny. Oh, he Ooh. did funny things right there. <laughs> really funny things. I don't think it's that big. Hmm. One of them, 30. one of them 34 inches, yeah. 33 inches maybe. It's always hard to tell when you're fighting them under the ice like this with a rod and reel. Never know. It took a lot of line though. It is so nice outside right now. There he is. Just the little guy. Just the little guy. Actually, he's not. He's not bad. He's not bad. We're just very, very jaded and spoiled. It's so That's easy so nice. to get so spoiled in the north so fast isn't it oh yeah like Big i imagine time. how spoiled you are by now oh yeah gonna just you know <laughs> easy nothing to it well i'll have a nice little underwater strike with that i'm glad i pulled the camera up because it was wrapped around the the camera there crazy that must be like over a dozen flags already oh yeah it's been nuts It's peeling. Oh yeah, still there. Got a flag too? Yep. Nice, double header. Two flags are flying right now. This one, obviously I don't know size, but you guys that are watching will know size already. That's some clouds moving in on us here. This one doesn't feel very big, I don't think. Just a little guy. Just a little guy. Oh, I have my other flag went too now. Okay, back down the hole you go. And now that other flag's going. My hands are cold. He's still going. I'm gonna pull this camera out here. He's still going. Looks like he's even wrapped in there already. How do they get wrapped in there so fast? Got him unwrapped. And like I said, I didn't bring my camera. Is he gone? Oh, no, he's not gone, he's there. Now he's gone though. Nope, nope, just coming at me. Must be a little guy, I think, huh? 
It's got a little bit of weight. It's got a little bit of weight. Oh yeah, what do we got here? Coming up, coming up. Feels decent. Doesn't feel like tiny, that's for sure, but it's not giant. I don't think though either. I think it's just a nice one. Taking some drag though, it's pulling. I don't know what Matt's got on right now. I don't have any cameras on him, but he had a flag go off the same time as both of mine went, like bang, bang. Come on up, buddy. Here's my leader. We're ready to grab him here. Oh yeah, that's a good one right there. That's a good one. Okay, well there's a triple header action. I had one, Matt had one, or sorry, I had two, and Matt had one. Nice fish, probably like a 38 incher. Beautiful, okay. Okay, there she goes. Oh, well that was a uh, fast pace. And I got no baits down and uh, hands are cold and yeah, I'm gonna get reset up here. This is the tip up I'm using right now called the Finicky Fooler. I've been using it lots this year already. Super impressed with it. Rod sits in there nice, peels out. The biggest thing is get this base like really sealed in the snow. When you put it down there when you first drill your hole and even put some ice and some snow up on the edges there and just get it dialed in good because I noticed that it can be a little bit wobbly. So get a good base around it. But I'll leave a bunch of links below for instructional purposes and setup and all that on this it itself. They, Finicky Fluor just released a bunch of new videos on it about good how-to videos to use it. This one's called the Finicky Fluor Original Series. They have a hook setter device one too that I just haven't really spent any time with yet. But it packs up so simple. Like I'm a, I'm a huge fan of that part where you can just like pack it up. Even now is like when I go long distances, I take this flag out and I put it in my rod case too. So this is all I have to pack up. It's, it's easy, but I definitely recommend to, if you're going to do any type of uh, tip up fishing like that outside, this little foam, uh, I don't even know what it's called, the foam disc that they have here. This one sits on first on the outside of your hole or over your hole. And then this right here, puts it uh, right on top and it's got a little bit of a cut here so even if your rod isn't perfectly centered there you can turn this and you can always get your line right to the center of the hole so it'll never freeze along the edges of that hole at all finicky fooler like i said in some other videos uh, i've been using it for a full year now i got it at the end of last year and super happy with them and nothing uh, nothing negative to say at all they've been they've been good well that is a wrap with my third day up at Viking Lodge, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a, a little tired. I've been going pretty hard the last week because the weather's just been gorgeous. Looking forward to getting home, doing some editing, getting all these videos out. But I had an amazing three days to my trip here up at Viking. I caught a Master Angler Pike, I got a Master Angler Lake Trout, a Master Angler Rainbow Trout. Even though we didn't technically measure it, you guys just gotta trust me on this one. Anyways. It was a, an awesome day. Thank you very much to that man right there. Matt, Matt, wave real quick. Thank you to that man, his brother, Paul. They're two wonderful wives for hosting me. I had an un unreal time. I, I can't wait to be back. There's just so many lakes up here to explore that I'm looking forward to. I never even uh, got to spend much time on the Cranberry Lakes this time. I was there a couple days, you know, obviously doing some lake trout stuff, but I'm, I'm looking forward to, to exploring everything up here. So thank you so much for watching and don't forget, get outside.